Hey guys, so welcome to a vlog video. Now this is a very impromptu video. It's literally like six o'clock in the evening. And normally I, if I'm filming a vlog, I do it from the morning and then it's just kind of a daily vlog. So, however, today I wasn't feeling very well earlier and I'm feeling better now and I just had that feeling like I just kind of want to go and film and just have a nice sort of chilled summer evening. So that's what this vlog is going to be. It's going to be a, mi a bit of me and Charlie time. So Charlie is one of those horses that loves attention and every now and again I just like to spend an evening just giving him a bit of TLC, a bit of sort of one-on-one -on -one time with him. So that's what I'm going to do this evening. I'm going to bring him up, I'm going to give him a groom and I'm just going to sort of just give him a bit of attention and then I think I might ride him. Um, so for the last two weeks I've been house sitting and my parents got back yesterday. So while my parents were away I agreed not to ride just in case I injured myself and there was no one else to look after the horses. So Charlie hasn't been ridden in two weeks so it'll be interesting to see what he goes like. Um, but yeah I think I'd just spend some time with my boy, give him a groom and yeah that is the plan so far. So I will go and grab him now and we can start giving him a groom. Charlie gets um, quite a build up on his legs just because of his feathers um, and he's had feather mites before. He doesn't have them now um, and he had injections for them but he still gets this sort of build up on his legs which isn't nice so just brush it all out and make his feathers look pretty again even though they could do with a wash.
obviously Charlie is quite a chunky cob, that's why his nickname's Chunk. And this mane is literally, when I put my hand under here, I can feel the heat like he's sweating underneath, which is obviously the re main reason, because he's got so much hair, that I ride him on an evening when it's cooler. So I'm gonna try and plait his mane today, just to sort of like, give him a bit more like, air under his mane, but I don't know if we have any rubber bands, so if not, I'll just brush it all through. If I can find some rubber bands, I'm gonna plait it all, I think which will take a long time because it has a lot of it, but it might just cool him down a little bit, which even I need in this weather, and I don't have any fur or hair apart from this. these car and day and martin spray things does it freak you out that after you it keeps going because it freaks me out and the horses were actually really scared of these when we initially started using them oh. charlie we don't need the wheelbarrow bait yes it's a car yeah thank you Obviously, wasn't giving him enough attention. Have more spray. It just doesn't do. Diddy little silly plaits in Chunky's mane because he just won't stand for long enough for me to do that. So he has super quick, quite chunky plaits, and to be fair, it makes his mane look very pretty. Stand still. Speed is required. So this is real time. And then this is the speed I'd like to do it in. I don't normally do his forelock in the reverse plat thing, but I just realised I have. It normally looks better if I do it the other way, but oh well. This is for care, not looks, isn't it, Charlie? It's for health and welfare, my dear. Here we go. Beautiful. I can see you now. You can see things. He has a unicorn. So for those of you who always ask me why when I wear fake nails around the horses, A, why I do it and B, how, this is why. Don't stand on me, that's rude. Because I painted my nails literally like an hour before I came out and I don't know who can tell, but they are all smudged and 
just ruined so that's why because when I wear acrylics and I do dirty horses and my hands get like this it doesn't matter um he's like get on with this woman oh that little bit of mane hasn't been plastered and that's gonna really annoy me <laughs> sorry he's got grumpies on and doesn't want to be groomed anymore I just wanted to quickly point out that this was very sudden decision. I'm not wearing my riding boots. I'm wearing my jod boots. I'm not wearing jodpers. I'm wearing some leggings I bought in Portugal when I went riding like two years ago. Um, I mean, I'm wearing a flipping crop top for goodness sake. This isn't professional, but it's just what I wanted to do with Charlie. And we're not aiming to do anything tonight. We're just. I'd literally, I'd like to take him on the front field and take him just for a walk and trot sort of hack but I can't do that right now because it needs to be cut so this is the only option we have so that's why I'm not really doing much with him I'm not going to push him because it is boiling and yeah so it's just a bit of fun it's nothing too serious it's just me bonding with my horse and that's it Strips longer than the other, and his things are really awkward to change, so I've just decided I'm just going bareback. Let's just go bareback. He's a good boy. Don't need that. Who needs that? Who needs a saddle? Right, I'm gonna have to get on him quick because he'll walk away as soon as he realizes I'm getting back on. Good boy.
have not ridden bareback in over a year so my position is probably horrific right now So obviously I'm not doing much with him, it's still absolutely boiling, I just wanted him to be worked. So I'm just going to try and get him to stretch now, long and low, good boy, and relax into the contact, good boy. I used to be able to ride Charlie out on the buckle end and he would listen to me, he'd be the goodest good boy ever, I don't think he'd be like that nowadays because he's not been out packing in a very long time but he is a little super cop he really is Good boy he actually does have so much potential that I just wish we had more hacking here we literally have none apart from Yours. He's been a good boy tonight. Good boy. So I'm just editing the video now and I just want to say thank you for everyone for watching. Um, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. I know I have a lot of Charlie fans out there, so let me know if you want more videos with me riding Charlie. Um, please also check out my Instagram that I'll put here. Um, I've been posting loads on there and I'm really trying to sort of put more effort into that. Um, so make sure you follow me on there for daily updates on the horses. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.